Barith. Flan's gift is on its way to Meath. Very good. I, I was just preparing to leave for the coronation, though I now have a problem on my hands. What is it? Flan's poetess, Kira. She was here delivering a formal invitation, and now I do not know where she's gone. Do you think she's in trouble? No, I think she is amusing herself somewhere. Likely perusing Dublin's markets. We need her. The High Poetess is an important member of the King's Court. There cannot be a coronation without one. I will find her. Where should we meet? By Dublin's gates. I will ready the horses. For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth! Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! Faye, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Are you Kira? Hold her down! Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. has made friends with the ground. On your feet, poetess. Mulian, everything is spinning. A cold bath will remedy this quickly. To flush the ale from you. If you think I'm going to lock you to Tara, you're mistaken. Tara? Wait, who are you? Barret sent me to collect you. He's waiting at the stables. Ah, an envoy. Tell me, how much coin would an envoy be wanting to speak nothing of this brawl to Barret? He'll tie a guard to my hip the next time I'm in Dublin. A man can be so sensitive sometimes, do you know what I mean? I do. Barith is my family. <clears throat> well, then, I think my mouth has gotten me in enough trouble today. Try opening it less. Works for me. Shall we? Barith has never spoken of you. What name do you bear? Eivor. I hail from Norway, now settled in England with the rest of my clan. A clan, eh? Are they all fist thumpers like you? It is because of these fists you live to sing another day, poetess. So true. Fadith. I was beginning to worry. What took? There was... trouble. Ara, no need to be so tense. Shall we ride for Tara? We don't want to be late for the coronation. After you. I was surprised to meet a member of your family, Barith. Eivor tells me she's come from England. Yes, 
Eivor is helping to establish trade in Dublin, secure valuable resources with faraway lands. In time, Dublin will become the heart of Ireland's trade, one that each and every kingdom can benefit from. That will no doubt please the future High King. Yes, well, above trade, I am hoping Flan can see Dublin as a friend and ally. You and many others. A relationship with Barith would be one worth fostering. It would be foolish of your king to ignore it. It appears Eivor is not abreast with our kingly history, Barith. We were hoping to have a meeting with Flan. My wish is to strengthen our ties. Can you see it done? Perhaps. We will see how the evening goes. Quite the event, hmm? Spared no expense, that much is clear. Ara, my lady, one of the priests has gone missing. A violent mess is left of his tent. I fear something terrible has happened. Missing? Are you sure? Could be nothing. Could mean danger. Where is Flon? He's not yet arrived. That gives us some time. Kira, act as if nothing were amiss. Barth and I will look into it. Where is this tent? Up the hill, to the left. Be careful. <coughs> there was a fight here. It is the eve of the coronation, and already trouble brews. Keep your wits and stay close. We do not know anything yet. Something dark happened here. We must follow the blood. A succulent roast. Let us go back and follow another trail. The blood leads off away from the main camp. Perhaps towards those tents? Blood stops here. Where do these cart tracks lead? This story is like to have a poor ending. I fear so, cousin. On such a momentous day as well. Flan's coronation may not be as hoped. Up ahead. Looks like they hit a snack. Recognize him? That is Senan, the priest. Bastard stripped him of his clothes. That camp up there. What is it? Anachdu is no camp, though it appears someone has made it into one. Let's go.
What do you think? The priest was kidnapped. They took his clothes. I believe whoever did this means to wear them. A disguise? We will soon find out. This place is heavily guarded. There. And that one is dressed as the priest. Follow my lead. Sent to kill Flon. The letter is unsigned. An unknown enemy. Come. We must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. Aye, we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings, though it is the kings of Alston who particularly dislike Thrawn. Different king. Any story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers, bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flon. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest, cut Flon's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison, or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail, and to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flon fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flon earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah Fall, a sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations are long. Where is the food? You have not changed. I am here. I may as well enjoy myself.
And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. If he's a smart king, he'll be eager for allies. Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin. Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flon. What am I missing? A uh, detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flon's father and took his place as high king. Then, as is custom, he married Flon's mother. Safe to say there is no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life. That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can. Flon is inside. Relax your shoulders. He has as much to gain from this as we do. We welcome you to Doro. It has been a long time. Thank you for meeting with me, Lord. I trust our gift was well received. Exotic spices, all of which are foreign to me. I am impressed. Only a taste of things to come. Dublin will soon be known as the pillar of Ireland's trade. To a long life and prosperous reign, my king. Such fealty. <laughs> you honor me. You must be Eivor. My gratitude. ...for your selfless actions and what preceded my coronation. Lord? It seems my enemies could not wait for my reign to begin... ...before trying to put an end to it. An old tale between Northern and Southern Ian Ale, I'm afraid. But it's one whose ending I will be the author of. Planning a war? A high king should have control over his land. And I shall. If it takes a bloody war... ...I must be prepared for it. Dublin's trade has plenty to offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included, ready to fight alongside you. I appreciate your desire to strengthen the ties between Meath and Dublin. And as much as I find myself in need of aid, it appears you find yourself undermined by your own people. What do you mean? During the coronation, a monastery was raided and a Christian text was lost. The Book of Kells. Dublin Danes are to blame. Your support will be of great help, let me be clear. But this capriciousness will sooner harm me than help me. If I retrieve the book, set straight the ones who did this. Would you welcome Barth into your court? It would help. These Danes, you know where they are? In a bog in Inch Row, just north of here. Eivor, this is my responsibility. Remain here. I'll see it done. It's you! It's you. <sighs> Though we told you to leave, Thorstein. Ah, uh, uh, leave Dublin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is not Dublin. You did not understand you were not to be seen again. Oh, come now. How was I to know you would find your way out here? Why are you here? 
Looking for a book you stole. We raided a monastery recently. Oh, it was several monasteries, actually. These new friends of mine do not tire easily. The book is important to the Christians. I need it back. The Christians? Ha! <laughs> See? You are an Irish lapdog. <laughs> I, I... I do not have it. Are you upset? <laughs> Please do not be upset. Oh, you are upset, uh... I am running out of reasons to let you live. Uh, I know where it is. Boing tombs. Some strange folks offered me this hoard for it. I could not resist. Could you? See? You understand. We are very alike, you and I. I, I could just as well be your brother. I... I do not kill me. Thorstein, your blood is not worthy of my steel. I could not agree more. Now vanish. I mean it this time. A third encounter you will not walk away from. Oh, I am through with Ireland. My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Except for this. I will just take this. And this. <laughs> Book. Have you found it? Its popularity is ever increasing. This is Owen, Abbot of Armagh. The book is for him. I remember from the coronation. I pray you did not have to endure much to reclaim this. A small price to ensure the High King's patronage. 
What's this? Lord, you are chosen High King by God Almighty. These are pagans. I, I mean no disrespect. You hear that, Barith? You can save their lives, protect their religion, and still they <clears throat> treat you like dog shit. I only mean to warn Flan of the possible implications. Nothing more. And I am well aware of them, Abbot. I have spoken past what is right. I will take my leave. Lord, please excuse this clumsy intrusion. No need. I am glad to see the book is back in good hands. He is colorful. I do not blame the abbot for raising alarm. History dictates he has every reason to. What is your report? I have dealt with the leader in the bog. You'll have no more problems coming out of Dublin. Then we shall turn our eyes to the problem at hand. Ulster is using its power to sway Connacht. An allegiance that must be snuffed before it takes flame. For that, we need to gain support from the other kingdoms. Speak with Kira. She will guide you in this. I shall return to Dublin to gather men and resources for the march. I welcome them. When we are strong enough, we will meet at Knock Free and devise a strategy. You were gone some time. What happened? The book was in the hands of a strange cult. They procured it from Thorstein. I was weak to spare him. My own son knew better. Chin up, Barith. We have come into favor with the High King. I will feel better the day Flan's trust in me is not shadowed by doubt. Back to Dublin I go. Talk to Kira. We must gain favor with the other kings, quickly. I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a nose he can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Is he the only one? <laughs> you're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster.
Which pickings? Better bring the crew. We fight! Help me out here! More good Keltian! <laughs> Gods here are vigilant. At the ready. We march soon. <laughs> the missing piece has arrived. Welcome, Eivor. Lord, this has the looks of a Norse war camp. 
Plenty of stout-looking men. The fruits of your labors, Eivor. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. Ah, Eivor! Look at me, part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a vikinger, eh? You've gained his trust. I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Viking smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cashelor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht, taking it would isolate each from each. Cashelor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But, for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you. Are you Flan Scout? You are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone. You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Vikinger.
bravely done, Eivor. Cashelor will be ours. <laughs> You're back! I count on you, cousin! Taking. Sack the castle! Go, witch! Launch it. To a battle well fought and blood well spilt. To Ireland. Skull. Ah. Another cup, my king? <laughs> Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I'll give her your message, O brave king. Beareth, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. 
<laughs> then he come at me. Eyes blazing like hell fire itself. Sure, sure he did. <laughs> I tried to help. I was too far, I was. Do you see, Sunan? <laughs> you sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leah Fall. The ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone? It seemed to... It... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well, and her mother and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You are lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of the Norse who finds herself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. Ah, I all but forgot. Flon sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flon is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. Beautiful morning. Ah, Barrett asked me to return to him last night. I should apologize. Oh, dear Lord, the Please, we... Come. The army has been poisoned. Curse of Loki. Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barrett? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison? Seven silver he paid! Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord. Flattering words and servile gifts, all to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, 
poisoned the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me life. Silence! Ah! Oh. Take this man away. No, 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 no. I done nothing. Kira, I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, Lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. Ugh. Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans. Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Very. You should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. <coughs> Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her. Poor Baron. I'm disappointed that Flawn even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Varith. But who's behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Thanu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? True druids oppose the Thanu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Thanu, leaving true druids to carry on. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We... You're wandering off. Come along. What was I saying? Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We learned together. You were once a druid. I was. There are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. This land is unsettling. I'm unsure of the way. Follow the stone path as best you can. It's where I'm from. Deirdre's hut. Eivor, she is a druid, so a bit... Eccentric. <laughs> Kira, are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I'm sorry to say we've come for help. Fay and me. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu, 
Yes. Flan's army is spitting blood. You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark droids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities that Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house. Up north, near Port Orly Trading Post, at the mouth of the Bali Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I have done. I pray the spirits guide you. What do I know of this child of Dano?